Could you live on a diet of raw food with nothing heated above 100 to 115 degrees? We are about to hash it out in our raw food diet detox debate. Welcome Andy Pio, wellness expert and author of The Raw Food Detox, and Joy Dubow, Dr. Joy Dubow, registered dietitian and nutritionist. Okay, so the raw food diet, from what I understand, because I do eat raw food sometimes, is uh, it's live food. It's, it's, it's live food. It's a lot of nuts. There's coconut, avocado, oils, all kind of salads and vegetables, but it is a vegetarian, vegan diet. And if you have anything, there are these, you can have crackers, which are made in a dehydrator. People use a lot of food processors to kind of simulate cream sauces with nuts or dates get pureed to be put in des desserts and make them kind of rich in mock chocolate. And so a lot of the things are kind of mock versions of the original. Would you agree with yeah. that? I mean, we make our, our pudding out of avocado. How awesome right. is that? So it's a natural fat that's a heart healthy fat. Right. It's avocado, we sweeten with a fruit. So you can use a banana, you can use a date, and you're blending it with cacao, which has theobromine. So that elevates our mood and makes us happy, and then it's a healthy fat from avocado. Okay. It's really how we relate to the world around us. It's about eating unprocessed whole foods. Okay. So, Joy, what are your thoughts on this? And you're, you're um, a nutritionist. Yes, I'm okay. a registered dietitian. So, first off, fruits and vegetables, fantastic. Make half your plate fruits and vegetables. My issue with this particular lifestyle or diet, really, is that it eliminates food groups that are really important for essential nutrients. Now, the second thing is, is so that you can't cook. Okay, so that doesn't seem sustainable to me from an everyday practical standpoint. You know, it's great if you can go to restaurants and eat out, but if you're going to go to a raw food restaurant and you're in the middle of the U.S., you may not have access to that. So from a practicality, the investment in the equipment needed to actually, I guess you could say, not cook your food. In dehydrate the and dehydrate and process, right. which is still processing those fruits and vegetables, blending, Plus, also, just the everyday active individual, the time investment that it would take, let alone the micronutrients or the essential nutrients that you may miss by just following this diet. Okay, so what, do you, what I ha ha do understand is it is um, somewhat, in, it's somewhat difficult to sustain. It's not that easy to go out to dinner. If you went on a first date, the guy would think you were nuts, no pun intended. <laughs> I think the idea, so, though, is to really help us hit our six to ten uh, vegetables and fruits every day. Okay. So it, when we're going out, a really easy way to go out is to go to a Japanese restaurant. They have nori, which is a sea vegetable. Right. And then you can wrap that in all different seasoned marinated vegetables. That's really delicious. And right. a lot of it's fermented too. So it's really great for probiotics, helps us build healthy intestinal flora, helps us with our digestion. And So what did you eat today, if you don't mind me asking? I had, let's see, I had a banana, I had a flax cracker. I always carry like um, bars and crackers with me. I have an avocado with me. So I actually flew last night from LA and I brought like carrots, cucumber, red bell pepper, a flax cracker. I bring nori sheets with me. I also bring dehydrated sea vegetables, which may not be so accessible to most people, but I'm Asian, so I grew up on that. Okay. But they're dehydrated and when you put them in water, they expand like three or four times the size. They're really great in minerals and vitamins from the ocean.